So uh, I was gonna wrap this video up, but I did just come across a bit of a hiccup which I thought I would share, um, as some of the other SMA installers out there might find this useful, because I could not find any of the information. And interestingly, uh, I had to call tech support and they had two peop two techs call in today with the same issue and they'd never had that before. So I went to power up the inverter and what I had was the green and the red light both flashing simultaneously. Um, now what these LEDs mean, which the techs will know but others may not, is green indicates your power. Uh, if it's pulsing slowly, uh, then it's making minimal power. The faster it pulses like it is now, then it's making more power. When it's at maximum power, it will just be a solid green light. Uh, your red one indicates a fault, but that can often just flash as well when you're starting up. Um, just on the green light, if the green light is flashing like a car indicator, as in on, off, on, off, then that can indicate that there is no AC power going to the inverter. Now your blue light is just your connectivity and at the moment the inverter is connected to the hotspot on my phone because as I mentioned before, there is no Wi-Fi for the home network here. Um, but I've done that just so that I can uh, register the warranty for the system on um, Sunny Portal. Uh, so what happened is these two were flashing on off simultaneously and I couldn't find any information. I rang tech support and uh, what it turns out is that when I was trying to commission it, one thing I noticed is that I couldn't set the grid parameters for my area. Every country has its own grid parameters and you have to set those when you're installing and commissioning the inverter, otherwise it may not behave correctly for that region. Um, in WA, Western Power, we have the same one network statewide, so it is quite important, otherwise the inverter will shut down and it can also cause high voltage issues within your household. So it is important that you choose the correct region. It wouldn't let me do that. So for the techs, um, how you get past that is you have to log in with your grid guard code, okay? And then you go manually into device parameters and set the um, grid parameters in there for your area, uh, which for WA is Western Australia, Western Power, Region B. Um, once I did that, everything worked fine and now it's up and running. Um, thank goodness because uh, it's really hot and I didn't want to have to pull this thing down and come back and get another one, which is very unusual for SMA. So I, I was confident that it was just a little tech error. Um, and that's it, there you go. So if both of those are flashing, log in with your grid guard code, manually choose the um, grid from the device parameters menu, not the installation assistant. Righto, cheers guys.